There we are. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another Friday live auction with Roland Picker. And uh, who you can see waving there is uh, Elizabeth English, England, or just refer to her as Liz. Hey. Um, today, she's uh, brought a total different collection of what we're always used to seeing, usually some jewelry and some other. She's brought some other collectibles. I didn't get them all in the picture in the thumbnail that I put over in the Facebook uh, group. So you guys are going to be surprised. There's some really cool stuff. I've seen the list. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, from what I saw on the list, uh, Elizabeth is uh, doing, um, she's already got the shipping figured out for the, for the U.S. She will ship international. So our international family here in the community is not left out. Um, I'm going to uh, put the email address in here now for her. Uh, this is the address you guys use. I just put it up to contact her uh, with your real name, your YouTube name, and your address. And for the international, it'll be calculated shipping. So you'll actually be paying the, the shipping rate for your area. Um, what I do to keep our community safe and our resellers and our buyers safe and protected, we've decided that uh, to send payment, you uh, either you can ask Liz to send you a PayPal invoice and or when she gives you your total, use that email address and you can go send her payment through goods and services. We don't use friends and family because we just want to make sure that our buyers and our sellers are protected in case there's any kind of trouble. So really no big deal. And it's just easier that way because uh, the sellers so far don't mind paying the little uh, fee to PayPal for collecting their money. So with that said, I'm going to, I can't think of anything else. I think, oh, I uh, want to let you guys know that uh, she'll tell you the reason for the auction, but I'm going to kind of give you a little sneak out there because I'm kind of proud being a veteran myself. Her son's just finishing up boot camp uh, with the Marines. So he's going to be finishing up his boot camp. He's going to be a badass killing machine. Godspeed. God love him. God bless him for wanting to serve his country. And I know his mama's proud. His family's proud. His, everybody's proud. I know I'm proud of him. So I'll let her tell you a little bit about why this auction. And, uh, and then we'll start, with the, we'll start going from there. Um, I want to thank the wrenches that are here to moderate. I want to thank Dia especially for being willing to uh, write down the winners. So we're going to move at a pace that's going to be comfortable. So it's comfortable for Dia, Liz, myself, and for everybody else. All right. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Liz, and then we're going to have some fun. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. All right. It's on you, Liz. Hey, thanks so much, Mike. Great introduction. And hello, everybody. I'm Liz England, and as Mike said, uh, kind of surprised me there. We weren't going to talk about it, but uh, here we are. And uh, my son is doing the Crucible the 24th through the 26th, and uh, we're hoping to have as many family members join us as possible down in South Carolina. So thought I'd get all this together and help with, uh, in particular, my daughter, who has already taken off a lot of work uh, and for personal reasons, and this would be great that she can um, have a little buffer there. But um, again, it's uh, I hope you enjoy what I have to offer. I think there's some things I've hung on to for a while. There is a mixed media piece that's coming up. It'll be the second lot. Um, maybe some people like to collect art. Um, I sure like to make it. But uh, again, thank you. Um, and like Mike said, let's have some fun. And thank you to Mods and Dia for helping out. Um, I guess it's time to get the show on the road. What I'm going to do is put the first item up, and then I'm going to turn. So. And let me just uh, mention yeah. right here, guys, so they know. We're going to go off of my live chat. Um, we're going to get the starting price from Liz. I'm going to put in start with the price. And when you see that, um, that means that you can go ahead and start bidding, and then we'll do going once, going twice, fair warning, last call, and then the sold, okay? And it'll be off of my screen. So I uh, want to thank everybody for being here and supporting each other. So let's have some fun. Thank you, Mike. Okay, first up, I love this purse. I'm going to put it in. All right. What we, what's the starting price on this purse? This purse starts at five. 
it's the Roto brand, which was new to me. Uh, it's made in Italy. It's a chocolate brown velvet, and it has a lovely print um, with flowers. Let me get the chain. Can you hear me okay, Mike? Oh, I hear you fine. Everybody, okay. can you guys hear us? Yeah, I think they can hear us. Great. Um, the chain is 23 inches. The bag across is six inches. The inside is pristine. And I'm going to get my light here and line up with the camera. Might be difficult to see. Oh, getting good with the backwards. You can see it says R-O-D-O. Italy starting price is five and everything works I don't have the bag that came with it so it is okay. just yeah it's gently pre-owned I mean okay, it's we've got Carol in at five dollars Okay. Thank you for that big, Carol. We've got Red Neckerson resells. Hey, Nathan, glad you could make it. We have Red Neckerson at eight. Does anybody want to go higher than eight? We have Carol back at 10. Thank you, Carol. We have Carol at 10. Is anybody interested in going higher than 10 on this Roto made in Italy? And to me, it appears vintage, correct? You know, I did, uh, you may be correct there. I did a little research on it and um, I couldn't find anything comparable in uh, in style to it. So it could very well be, um, it was from actually in Pennsylvania at a thrift store. I saw it just hanging there and I thought, oh, is that adorable? And um, that's, and I used it one time. Um, I didn't put anything in it. Thank you, looks pretty clean. We've got Carol at oh. 10. Anybody wanna go higher than 10? We have Carol at 10 going once. You guys know how I like to call this. I don't like giving anybody enough chance to think about stuff. <laughs> so we just move it on, you know, we're so, I'm sorry. That's just the way we do things. We've got Carol at $10. Anybody want to go higher than 10? We got Carol at 10 going twice. Oh, see, we've got some new people that came in there. Deb's here. Uh, Crazy Mike from the Crazy Card. Hey, Mike, I'm glad you could make it. Nathan, Vanessa, Patsy Crafty. Okay, we've got Carol at $10. Anybody want to go? 11 we've got carol at ten dollars fair warning guys last call on this roto made in italy yes purse. definitely can uh, resell it and uh make some if you don't choose to keep it all yep. right there is very sold it. yeah sold it to carol for, carol. for ten dollars thank you carol for the bid and uh barb's here and I think I, I think I saw uh, Jennifer's here, and I think I saw um, Apsy. Did I? Yes. Barbara's here too. Hey, thanks you guys for coming. All right, uh, we've got lot number two, and yes. this looks like a. How do you say this? A vase, vase. Well, it's actually a jewelry jar. Oh, it's a jewelry. It's jar. It's started life as a jewelry jar, because and I have nothing else to do. How's and that? what's the starting price on this? This is five dollars. And what was the shipping on on the first uh, purse? I forgot to. That's going to go six seventy nine through Pirate Ship Priority with insurance. And what about the the uh, jewelry jar? Five dollars. And that's through Pirate Ship also. It is. It'll be in a box. Extra all right. Shipping, you know all the good stuff to uh, keep it safe. So we've got this really cool looking jewelry jar here, guys. Um, yeah, it's a uh, mixed media. There's a lot of different imagery. That's no. pretty cool. So we've got a starting price of five. Is there any love for the uh, <laughs> jewelry jar? It is, uh, yeah, I'm just putting it out there. It's been it's sealed. Kind of unusual. Yeah, it is unusual. There's a rooster, it has some eyes. Hi, Corinne Sykes. Thanks for coming by to support the channel. We appreciate it. Hey, Carmen, glad you could make it. Anybody interested? And Nora B or Nora A, thanks for uh, coming by. Anybody interested in this jewelry jar for five bucks? We got any love for the no. jar? For the <laughs> we don't have no love for the jar no because love for the jar. That's okay. Gonna, well, what we're going to give it uh, about 10, 15 okay. seconds, and then and guys, listen. 
if you decide to change your mind afterwards on something you don't have the love for right now, there's the email address. Go ahead and contact Liz. Let her know, hey, I'm really interested in that really cool looking jewelry jar. And you yeah. can go ahead and get it. All right. So I think we got no love. We'll just move on. Okay. It's meant to stay with me. All right. Number three. This is no love for number number two. What's number three? <laughs> number three is this awesome made in Japan. I'm gonna have to hold her up. Wall pocket. How are we doing site wise? And what's the start price on this? Start price on this is five dollars. Five dollars and the sh shipping. Shipping is six seventy nine through Pirate Ship in a box. Six seventy nine. Yep. And it has no cracks, chips, wear, or peeling. It needs a gentle cleaning. It's a bit dusty. It's glazed. Oh, that on. hangs on the wall, like on the from the it neck. It does. There's the hanger. And it says Japan, tiny, right there. And you yeah, move a little more to the middle of this ring, come to, there you go. There you go. Wow, that's cool. There's the hole. So we've got Carol at five, Red Nickerson resell at six. Look at that uh, Barb, face. Barb wants to see the front again. Look at that face. Oh, so we've got so uh, Barb at seven, Carol at eight. That's pretty new. That's a. Uh, Isn't nice sweet? Yeah, that's like one of them Scottish Terrier dogs or a... Like a Schnauzer, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking a Schnauzer. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get him to the middle a little bit more. So everybody get a good look at him. So we've there got Carol at eight. Hey, Tanya, glad you could make it. Anybody interested in going higher than eight? We've got Barb at nine on this Japanese-made oh. wall hanger. We have I Carol at 10. The 40s, Mike, my guess. The 40s? Yeah. I don't think it's a new piece. You know, it. Uh, mm -hmm. wh whoever had it, had it for a long time. And, um, yeah, that's my guess. We've got uh, Barb at $11. Anybody want to go higher than 11 Anybody want to go higher than 11 we got Barb at $11 Ooh. going once on this uh, wall hanger. Yeah, he's sweet. It's uh, done really well. Isn't he beautiful? That's what... Got a lot of detail. My cats would not like it, though. You know? No? No. Uh, hey, Dad's Vintage Garage. Welcome. Glad you could make it. We have Barb at um, $11 mm -hmm. going twice. Anybody mm -hmm. want to go a little higher than $11? Anybody want to give me 12 All right. We're going to do a uh, fair warning. Last call. On to Pooch to Barb for eleven dollars. Sold. Yay! Sold thank to Barb, you, Barb for eleven dollars. Thank you, Barb, for the bids. And Carol. Yeah, supervisor and Kitty. Yes. Supervisor Kitty can deal with this dog. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she said the mark on the back you said was Japan. Yes. Tiny. There is a sticker, an old sticker. Um but again, no chips, cracks, peeling. Barb, Barb scored on that. Yeah, that's she a says good. She says, send it to Dawn. So I know Dia's writing that down. Oh. Thank you, Dawn. That's very nice. And guys, make sure you're on live chat. And if you think you're, there's a serious delay and you're a little bit behind, try to refresh, okay? I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to bid. So this is lot number Three, uh, four. Four. All right, and and looks like I sealed the bag. That's good; it protects it. Yeah, it. Oh, Barb says it's Don's dog, so it looks like Don's um, old dog. Cool. Uh, oh, that is so special, Barb. Dad's vintage says you could you could hide your cash in that too. That's kind of cool. You could and hang it back up on the wall. <laughs> All right, this is an Avon grouping, and we're starting Avon. Avon. We're starting. And the starting price five dollars, and the shipping three thirty four. It's going to go first class package. I did weigh these um, prior, and um, we're doing pirate ship, and this is 
a morning glory scarf. It does have, I don't know what that is, maybe just in the printing, but it's made in Japan. And I'm going to open this up carefully while you look at these two. And what are those other two that are on the, the box? This one is powder. And it, it actually has the powder in it? It does, and it's it smells nice. It's I not wish too we had smell vision It's not too strong. Now, I'm going to stay, state that this was in a group together when I bought it. So I'm, it does, it's, this is not marked Avon. So I'm just going to let you know that. But this is an older, like 70s style. That would have been something I would have seen on my grandmother's dresser in the 70s. Absolutely. Oh, look at this one. Now, this one, to me, is unused. Well, you get older, the hands don't want to work, do they, Mike? Ugh. Nope. I, I know about that. Yeah. It... <laughs> All right. Now, this one definitely has a strong scent. Is that like a perfume? It is. It's a dram. One dram, so one ounce. Can we see it? Yeah. Oh, forgive me. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a cool bottle. Isn't there you cool? go. And it's full. It's called um Here's My Heart Perfume. So people that collect Avon. Right on. You know. Buy Infinity Treasures Hunt. Thanks for being here. And now here's the scarf, which is mint in the bag. This is a beautiful scarf. Look at that. Wow, it looks like new. Like nobody's ever worn it. Exactly. So we started this off at five guys, and she said it's like three bucks and some change for shipping. Is there any love for this uh, three piece set? We got powder, yep. uh, perfume, and a scarf. And two are, we know, are Avon. And two are Avon, the powder, we're not sure of. So right. anybody want to go five bucks on this? Anybody, any love for the Avon and Strange Peace lot? Because <laughs> we don't know who the powder's from. No, but I like that powder. That's okay. All right. We're going to give it a little bit more time. No love for the, uh, no love for the Avon lot? It's okay. Five dollars. What year is the scarf? Um, there, it, it just says made in Japan, but if you look um, for comps on it, I want to say 70s. But it's, um, they're asking too is the scarf cotton? Is it cut? Cotton, no, the scarf is let's look on the bag. We have uh, Ace at five dollars. Thank you, Ace, for the uh, for the bid. It says Avon Products, New York, New York, made in Japan, and um, suffocation warning. And if you any tag on the scarf saying, let's see, 100% um, poly silk screened in Japan, hand wash with mild soap or detergent, press while damp with cool iron if necessary. And it's, so it's like polyester or poly. It is. It's like silk screened. Yes, and it's soft. It's not. Uh, it's not an ugly poly. Okay, we need to see a little more of the scarf. Here. Okay, we've got Ace at five. Does anybody want to go higher than five on this three-piece set? We've got Ace at five going. Going once. It's pretty cool though that it was still in the box. Yes. It's amazing. Because that stuff usually gets destroyed. Or it doesn't last. Absolutely. We've got Ace at, Ace at five going twice. Well, this is a deal, guys, at five bucks for a dram of perfume and uh, the mystery maker on the powder. Fair warning. We've got Ace at five dollars. Fair warning. Last call. Yeah. Sold to Ace. 
for Thank you. five dollars. Yeah. Thank you, Ace, for the bids. Hi, Fashion Reclaim, and I wanted to say hi to um, Sylvia Benedict. Thank you for being here, and Maria Perillette. Thank you for being here. And Mike had said a uh, uh, crazy card. It said that uh, that dog looked like it was 1950s. So there we go. That was a, that was a smoking deal. Thanks, whoever said that. So what what do we got up next? Looks like jewelry. You know what? Oh, that was a tease. We're uh, antique photo. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Todd, biker contest is here. Glad you could make it. Hedwig, glad you could make it. Okay. Hey, guys, while you're at the auction, I want to remind you, let's show a little love for each other. Click on those little three dots next to somebody's name. If you haven't ever checked out their, uh, their YouTube channel or any of that, uh, click on them, go check them out. I encourage you to subscribe and follow them and watch their videos. Ooh, vintage pictures. Mm-hmm, lots of them, a wedding. A wedding pictures. And the start on these are gonna be? $10. $10. Uh, it's going to ship for $4.10 and I'm going to add insurance. I don't know how much you can see. So $4 uh, and 10 cents, you said shipping? Well, four. And, Sounds four, and you're going to put insurance. <laughs> you know? Well, can you imagine? Reclaim, she jumped yeah. in there right away, 10 bucks. So we have an opening bid of $10. Here's a nice. Oh, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Can you pull it down just a little bit so we can see? There you go. Wow, that is old. Yeah, that's. Uh... That's old. That's old. Yeah, I don't know from when, but it just everybody yeah. looks so stiff. Yeah, nineteen. I'd say around Titanic time. Wow. All right. So we have uh, these are to reclaim at ten dollars, and then these are the frames. These are the, the frames. Picture. Now this is a spider. I don't know. I'm hoping you can see this. Let me go up a little. Learning curve, first time. Um, That's okay. Thank you. There is condition notes. Um, there are a couple of rips. And one on the back. Still totally displayable in a frame. And wow. the so that's like the matting, the, the thing that would go around the picture. Correct. I mean, if you have, I was going to measure. Uh, Oh, it looks like eight by ten. That's the one thing I didn't do. Almost eleven by. Yeah, you're right there, Mike. And then. Yeah, you, close. You yeah, it's about an inch. So if you had an inch border, and I have I don't know if anyone out there. Um, I bought these in Traverse City as the original paperback um, over ten years ago. And this one, this one is real delicate. Um, it does have, unfortunately, they're so worth saving. Another wedding wow. group, and this. Okay, is, you gotta you gotta move a little slower, Liz, so that you don't get jerky on the picture, and you want to give everybody a chance to see what you're showing. There you go. And this. So is, that's a different wedding group. Different wedding group, two wedding groups. Wow, two look at the hairstyle. Everything is way like super old. And this is marked um, Connett Brothers, Manistee, Michigan, which is on the west side of the state I'm in, in Michigan. Cool. So yeah. we've got fashion reclaim in at $10. Anybody want to go higher than $10 on these vintage wedding pictures? And then oh, we've got some photos. Stereo cards. Stereo okay. view. You need to pull them up a little bit. There you go. So that goes in the viewfinder thingy, right? Yes. All right, cool. And they still have the price. I paid three fifty dollars each. Oh, that's not so, bad. No. And those are collectible. 
All right, so we've got Fashion Reclaim at $10 on this vintage Keystone. photo. Yes. Going once with the little sight uh, card things there for the, looking through the viewfinder. All right, we've got Fashion Reclaim at $10 going twice. Anybody want to go higher than $10? Fashion Reclaim has it at ten dollars. Can I get these two like map borders, the two wedding pictures, and the two uh, viewfinder or viewing screens? All right, got Fashion Reclaim at ten dollars. That was fair warning, last call. Sold. Sold Thank to you. Fashion Reclaim for ten dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm sure they will find a new home. Well, they Thank did you. find a new home. You know what I mean. <laughs> they oh, have yeah. found a new home. All right. Next is a French advertising plate. It's in very good antique displayable condition. The back is a solid green. It does have scratches. It's nine inches round. Shipped in a box for six seventy nine. dollars um, I wouldn't use water on it for cleaning. It, it's going to take a little bit of research uh, for this one. This is going to start at five. And okay. let's see if you can. there you go. It does have a sticker. It does have foil. And it starts at five dollars. Five dollars. And there's what an was the shipping? Six seventy nine. Seventy nine. That's kind of an interesting plate. Yeah, and um, I can't speak French, I, unfortunately, but it it does need cleaning up. And I just left it to, you know, maybe there's somebody. Now the back um, has scratches from being hung and it's, somebody wrote France right here. And there, there was a comparable on eBay that did have the green back and had all of the hallmarks. Um, so it's because at first when I saw it, I thought it was like not a joke, but maybe somebody at school can, had done it. Yeah. Can you turn it around so they can see the back again? Yeah, the Please? back. And move it a little more to the center. There you go. Down a little bit. All right, right there. So yeah, obviously it was hung on the wall, guys. So it's a starting price of five dollars. This is the of a collectible advertisement still got some good coloring to it and yeah. the media the 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 uh the advertising part is uh in really good shape anybody want to go anybody got love for the plate advertising plate for five dollars we're going to give it uh, about 30 more seconds So you think this might be from France because it said France on the back? Yes, I do. Uh, we got Fashion Reclaim says she's in for five. So we have Fashion Reclaim at five. Does anybody want to go higher than five on this uh, advertising plate? Got Fashion Reclaim at five going once. Oops. Hold on, guys. Computer difficulties. Going once, we have Fashion Reclaim, $5. Anybody want to go higher than 5 Anybody want to give me $6 for this collectible plate? This, uh, look, I can tell you from looking at it, it does look vintage, like it's extremely old. So we're going to be doing Fashion Reclaim at $5, going twice. Got fair warning, guys, coming up on last call, because I could imagine Liz's arms are getting very tired. <laughs> All right, and Thrifty Treasures, uh, Tanya says, yes, looks like late. Oh, I thought she was talking about the plate. It does look like it's old and late. So we got sold, sold to, sold to Fashion Reclaim for $5. Thank you, Fat. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Fashion Reclaim, for yes. the bid. Thank my you, guys, for supporting, uh, supporting my channel and supporting each other and supporting Liz in this auction. If you've seen something that 
then you come or if anybody that watches this when it reloads um, when it, when YouTube reloads it and you notice an item that didn't get bid on and you're interested to send Liz an email to that address and um, and let her know and let her know okay thanks Mike fashion says thanks helping me redecorate cool and oh, I guess uh, weather, yeah. I guess the weather's getting bad here it looks like everybody's talking those in Texas like ooh, it's getting dark yeah so anyway, anyway what do we've got up next that will not stop this auction no rain or sleet or snow or none of that stuff's going to stop this yeah, auction. yeah big thank you to everyone sh joining us tonight that the weather isn't keeping you um thank you dad yeah, for uh, coming up number seven is uh it's batman man dark knight mm. yes venom series um my husband bought them new in the sleeves issued in 1991 the sleeves are dusty. They have tape on the back closure on a few. Not open in all these years. They are. They do weigh over a pound. Going to ship priority at six seventy nine. And uh, I'll show you the Venom series first, one through five. What's it start at? Uh, Ten dollars. And this is for all the comics, or this two lots of comics. So, two, three. So here's. Venom, part one of five. So these are already considered vintage 91. Yeah, no, uh, number 16, March 91. And it's uh, Dennis O'Neill and Trevor Von Eden. There's, wow. And there's, ooh, the doors. Steven Todd, or no, John Morrison. Who played that? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like the doors. There goes my. God dress. bless that flag. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. That hey goes guys, out every time. This, is, this yeah. is live auctions, man. This is what happens. You get it? So we've got the uh, Batman, Number two. Dark Knight, Venom. Number three. Can you put them a little more in the middle? So we so they can get a full there you go and back up a little bit. So we get there you go. Wow. Number four. Oh, he looks like he's just all dog tired. Must be tough being blue. And he's fighting a shark. And that's part four or five. I think I had him three or five, two or five. Can we see the backs of them? Five or five. Absolutely. And they've never been taken out of the dust covers. No, no, they've sat in a box. Oh my God, I remember that movie. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yep. Oh my God, that's old. So, we got any love for the five uh, Batman Venom comic books? Lynx. Ooh, Atari. I bet you that'd be worth a pretty that's, that's old advertising right there. Any Brian? love for $10? Ooh. Oh, look at Stephen Sakal. <laughs> All justice. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, so that, that's the Venom. And then we've got another set, guys, coming up, too. Here's Prey. Dark Knight Prey. Yep, part one of five. Well, it's got, so all yeah. these are ten dollars. All these are ten bucks. Correct. Oh wow. Part two of five. Stephen King's graveyard shift. Oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta cover her up. No, I want to see. We got Turtle Trader. Thanks for coming, Turtle Trader. Turtle Trader bid ten bucks She's on the comic book. You don't want a woman with a tail. That's okay. Part and four. Well, thank you, Turtle. Clint Eastwood, Charlie Sheen, the rookie. You want to? Okay. Can we put that front in the middle so we can see the front again? There you go. He looks like he's going to get killed. All right, and, and then five, five. Wow, so we have Turtle Trader at ten dollars on ten comic books, guys. Vintage, nineteen ninety. What'd you say, ninety nine? On uh, ninety one. Ninety one, ten dollars. They're, they're the series parts uh, one through five. All right, that's obviously collectible. We've got Turtle Trader at ten dollars going once. Woohoo! 
Anybody want to go higher than ten dollars? And we've got uh, Fiddle Trader. Ten dollars going oh. twice. Everything all right? Are you there, Liz? All right. While we're waiting on Liz, does anybody want to go higher than $10? Yeah, uh oh. Hey, Liz, you there? Well, guys, I don't know what's going on. Oh, maybe her battery went de uh, down and she's. Oh, I hope she can come back in. Let's see, I shouldn't have to stop the broadcast, right, guys? So, what we're going to do is. Where since nobody else wanted to go higher than ten dollars, we're going to go ahead and sell it and um, sold to Total Trader. Let me message her. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. Um, let me see if I can get a hold of her. This is interesting. Oh, wow. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do until that until that happens, we're going to, I'm waiting for her to come back in, do the same link. So you all should be seeing my happy mug. All right. I want to thank everybody for being here. Oh, she's back. Sorry about that, friends. It, uh, what, the laptop went dead? You know how, how much I prepped for like two days and yeah, it was the battery cord. So so my apologies, uh, no matter how well no. you're prepared, right? Yeah, don't Woo. worry about it. We sold that comic book set while you were we were gone. We sold that comic book set to uh, to Turtle Trader. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. You're going to have so, fun going through that, yes. Okay, so we're back on. Liz, she's back. Hey, you know, know what, guys? That's the whole point uh, with this. You know, it uh, it's live auction. Stuff happens. You know, at least it was nothing serious it was just a battery being undercharged so yeah, we'll just keep moving keep thanks. moving forward appreciate it i know well, what i can do differently i i need to have been born left-handed so i can you know maneuver backwards sideways and we'll get well, it next time you know if you want you can just push the camera back a little bit where you're at and just hold up the items right there in front of you great so be easier you have enough light Oh yeah, there's a plenty of light. Be, all right, all right. And you I take your time. You take your time. We're here for you. Well, thank you. This all is right. this is your this is your couple hours. Okay, ten piece jewelry lot. All right, guys, jewelry. Or as Tanya says, jewelry. The jewelry lot. All right. Now I have these wrapped up in tissue. So. Oh, that's cool. And this is for all pieces, right? Yep, we're going to start at 10 10 bucks. I'm going to put the price up, guys. Go ahead, and uh, as she goes through. Um, 410 uh, first class with insurance. I'll cover insurance. And um, you get all of these pieces. Hey, Bianca. Very glad you could make it. All right. Guess I could try them on, couldn't I? First up is a pair of Christian Dior clip earrings. Christian Dior. And they're comfortable. They um, they do not stick to a magnet. They're like new. 
Okay. Uh, an inch and a quarter. You want to hold them up close to the camera? There. There you go. And Focus. See the backs. Maybe pull back a little bit so it will try to focus. I think it's still trying to focus on you. Here. I got a little better. All right, so we've got a pair of clip-on earrings. Lovely. No stones, not loose. Oh, I love this. This is a crystal jewelry necklace. Um, wow. Yeah, I love this. It's so pretty. It, uh, the name on the earrings, uh, April, were uh, Christian Dior. Christian Dior. And wh who's the name on the necklace? The, no name. It's eight inches. It's white corded. It's clean. But sometimes you get that cord. It um, has of like that Aurora Borealis look to it. I don't know how well it's. Uh, Maybe put some white paper behind it. Sure. That would and block out uh, the no, yeah. Well, that maybe if we had, well, that'll give it some kind of look. Yeah, kind of like the aurora borealis. Like, it yeah. is, and it has a nice weight. It's not, you know, it's not cheaply made. I like it. Very. And pretty. there's no no name on the on the necklace. No, no name. But it, um, I like it. I like it. Reach into my. Here is an Avon flower pin. It's a rose. Yeah, you might want to use the white. They're kind of turning yellow. Oh, please. Or no. go to the board, I guess. I guess there we you go. go. Now bring it closer to the camera a little bit. And it's still shadowing. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. So far, two clip-on earrings, an Avon rose pin, and a uh, Borealis type beads. And this, I love this. Whoa. Love it. Now, it does not have, if it did, it's not marked. It looks like it may have been Part of something else but a jewelry person will know no can stone bring, can you bring it a little closer to the camera yeah absolutely come on focus that is so pretty it is so pretty um dia's asking any more lights you can plug in or turn on behind you you know what i'm going to get off my back side and see if i can if thank you dia can. Yeah, if you bear with me, what I'll do is um, jump on here and that may be a benefit. All right, let's see how this goes. Or put something white on the table, they're saying. Okay, we'll try that. Um, they're saying it's much better. There we go. Can you bring it down into the camera? Okay, well, you were almost there. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, back up. No, well, back up a little bit. <laughs> I so know this camera stuff is tough, man. Because yeah. you're trying to see it on one thing and trying to use your hand in another. You need to come up just a little bit, a little bit more up, up right there. But I got to get it to focus. Nope. Come back the other way. You're going out of camera view. Go back. Pull it back toward you. No, no. You're going the other way. Go. Yeah. Your military left. The other way. 
here. Now, if you bring it straight up from there, you're perfect. Bring it up just a little bit. There you well. Can you put your white notes behind it? Yeah, let me do that, friends. Bear with us, guys, because I want you to see all this, all, all of this. The uh, the pictures I saw were pretty, pretty awesome. And I mean, the colors were brilliant. And hey, this is a live auction, man. This is what, this is what happens. It's lighting and uh, and just trying to get the camera to focus. He is saying much, much better. There you go. I just would I wish, please focus for us. Love that kitty pin. Still is um, the one, yeah, one, brooch, one brooch is sparkling. You know what? Didn't you have a light that you were using for the bag? Mm. Remember the light you mm -hmm. shined in the purse? That Maybe. was a... What did I do with it? Good luck trying to find it now. Let's see. It's so dark. All right, guys. Just bear with us a little bit. We're trying to get it set. You'd never know. I spent half the day trying to get this. It's all right. Yeah, the price it was ten dollars, um, Ace. I oh, think I already typed in ten. I'll type it in again. I t um, there's a 2012 um, Alex and Ani bracelet. And all right. Says, yeah, I need to bring it into the center some more. It says Saint there Joseph. You go. Pray for us. Joseph, pray for us. We've got Carol at ten dollars. And that it's that brooch. I think they want to see the brooches. Yeah. Yeah. That beautiful thing. Uh, now come up a little bit. And more to the center. You're going away from the camera lens. Go the other way. There you go. Right there. And then maybe back up a little bit. For some reason it's not focusing. But I can I can get a, a, a gist of what the colors are. Well, we've got Terrell, Carol at ten dollars, and uh, we've got Selena Low at eleven. Anybody want to go higher? Let's see the uh, cat that cat brooch you were talking about the pin. Oh, we've got more to go. Oh. Oh man, more. More. Crown Trafari. Crown Trafari. Um, All right, uh, pull back. Okay, well, there, there you are. Now pull back a little bit. Pull back just a little bit. There you go. We got, uh, let's see, my sky watch at 13. We got Cindy Loves Jewelry at 14. Nor at 15. Bougie Bear at 16. Bargain Shopping at 18. Uh, Bougie Bear April's back at 20. And uh, hold so, and D is saying hold a white piece of paper behind them. Bargain shopping is at 22. Yeah, yeah. Can you like, I guess it's got to do with the light reflection. Yeah, and you're kind of bouncing around, they're getting seasick. They're saying so, we got to go real slow, okay? That's the Christian Dior. Yeah, you got to move slower, Liz, because it'll make them real jerky. All right, we got uh, Sparkin Shopping at 22, Bougie Bear at 25, Bargain Shopping at 26, 
Uji Bear at 28, Parkin Shopping at 30. And what's this bracelet made out of? It's I believe it's Lucite. It's a hinge, and I'm I'm about a seven. Okay. It's, it's a little snug. Okay, hold on now. You gotta go slow. Move your arm more into the center of the camera. There you go. Come down a little. There you go. We got Bougie Bear at thirty-five. It does have some wear um, on the bracelet, and again, um, the flower. The earrings, the Alex and Ani, the Crown Trafari. Crown Trafari, or tr Crown Trafari, excuse me. Um, they do not stick to a magnet, so I imagine if you have an allergy. Treasure Vintage, Angie's here, $38. So we have uh, Treasure Vintage, Angie at 38 Anybody want to go higher than 38 we got Treasure Vintage going once. That's a lot of pieces there. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. All right. We've got Angie Treasure Vintage at $38 going twice. Uh, the Crown well, Trafari is, a, well, hey, I think, wait, a very I'm pretty sorry piece. I'm going to interrupt you, but I have, uh, there was two more pieces in the bag. Oh, well, then, we got to wait, guys. We got two more pieces. Cindy loves jewelry at $40. Here's uh, a silver bracelet. Uh, on my list, it is... Um, Oh, the trunk silver tone is uh, three inches long, and it's really like new. Um, well, okay, anyway. Can we see what you're Told what you're that? swinging there in front of us? Not a rope. And that is a uh, that's a bracelet. It's a bracelet, and it is. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, it's eight inches. It's so an eight-inch bracelet. All right. It has black gemstones. So I don't know if they're spinel or what they are, but it is marked nine two five. Okay. And then the last piece are these earrings, and I apologize for the closing. If I'm saying it correctly. It's okay. We've got no pressure at these auctions. Just just lighting pressure. It's yeah. just, you yeah. know. Try, try not to let them shake that much, okay? Because I'm, I'm starting to get seasick. Just kidding. Hey, guys. All right. So we've got Daisy Naples at 42, Carol at 45. Um, actually, actually I'm Dia, I'm not. Hold on here. Actually, Dia, I'm not looking at the at the I'm not looking at the YouTube channel. I'm looking at the Hangout because I would never be able to see because of the time delay. But hang on, guys. Let me see what we got going on here. Yeah, everything kind of is not centered. So thank you for bringing it to my attention, Dia. There, there you go. That's better. Working on the laptop. I think I need a desktop. And the Avon pin. Hey, it's okay, Dia. I mean, I need you guys' help. In fact, you guys, um, so we had, where were we? So I can get, uh, we had Car Carol at 45 going once. And guys, I'm not seeing the actual live broadcast. I'm seeing it from the Hangout. So if something's not right, you've got to mention it to me so I can go look and we can get it correct because we want everybody to see everything. And uh, uh, to see everything and make sure that, uh, you know, you're bidding on what you're seeing. All right, we had Carol at 45. Anybody want to go higher? Back of the cat, you bet. It We've is got Fashion Reclaim at 
46. Fashion Reclaim, Daisy Naples at 47. Yeah, and it's just moving things slowly because what happens is I do know that it jerks on the YouTube side. It doesn't jerk for us, but it jerks for them. So, yeah. We got Carol in at $50. Anybody want to go higher than 50? Can we see the other side of the of the cat? Down a little bit, please. There's the kitty. All right. We've got Carol at $50 going once. So, guys, that's a necklace, three brooches, two sets of earrings. No, wait, four. Well, I guess the rose would be a brooch, right? Yes. Um, two bracelets and a necklace. Three, uh, three bracelets and a necklace. Very nice. We no. got Carol at fifty dollars going twice. That is a great lot. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Thanks, Patricia. Looks good. All right, we've got Fashion Reclaim back at fifty-one. Anybody want to go higher than fifty-one? We have Fashion Reclaim at fifty-one. On a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten piece lot going once. That's five dollars a piece. It's not bad. Uh, bargain shopping at 52. We have Carol at 52 going once. Anybody want to go higher than 52? I think it's worth at least you guys 55. This dollar now I know why Dwayne's like rolling picker, you're dollaring me to death. <laughs> now I know what now I know what he means. We have Cindy Loves Jewelry at 55. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy Loves Jewelry at 55. Going once. Yep, just that's a 550 a piece. And this, if you're a reseller, <laughs> excuse me, if you're a reseller, there's still a lot of meat on the bone easily. 55. Anybody want to go 60? We got Fashion Reclaim at 56. I'll take 56. Anybody want to go higher than 56? We have Carol at 58. Uh, we have Bargain. You're in at 58. I saw that, Carol. You're good. And Dia wants a real kitty cat. Aww. All right. So we have Carol at $58 going once. Anybody want to give me 60 Hey, Don, glad you could make it. Anybody want to give me $60? We have Carol at $58 going twice. All right, guys. You know what's going to be coming up. Anybody want to give me $60? We have Carol at $58. We got fair warning, last call, 10 piece jewelry set, and everything's sparkling in the background. Yep. We have Cindy Loves Jewelry at $60. Thank you for that bid, Cindy, at $60. Anybody want to go higher than 60? We have Cindy Loves Jewelry at $60. Special Reclaim says she's out. So we have uh, Cindy Loves Jewelry at $60. We have Bargain Shopping back in. Carol at 62. Bargain Shopping at 62. Anybody want to go higher than 62? Going once to Carol for $62. Anybody want to go higher than 62? Cindy Loves Jewelry says she's out. I wonder, is she really out? They like to pull that rolling picker thing at the end. They all learned very well. Going twice to to Carol, bargain shopping for $62. Fair warning, last call. Carol, bargain shopping at $62, 10-piece lot. Sold. Sold to Carol for $62. Thank you, Carol. What Thank you, Carol. Day. You're going to love this. and That's a great sorry. deal. Sorry, Fashion. We'll look for another kitty for you. Wow, guys. That was a nice lot. And Thank you, Carol, for those bids. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yes, all you guys for your bids. Everybody, thank you for all coming. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for uh, supporting Liz. Thank you guys for supporting each other. We appreciate it. Oh, okay. Carol loves the cat. I, I'll Can't. tell you what, Carol, I, I wish her camera was just a little bit better because the pictures I saw, it's awesome. You're going to love every yeah. every one of them pieces that you get are and, gorgeous. 
they are, and they're clean, they're working. Um, I, it's, you know, go over each one and it, I wouldn't send, you know, anything to uh, anyone that wasn't. So, and a lot of mix of non-magnetic, if that help, if that's helpful. No, Dawn, it's not over. No. Okay. And I know. All right, number nine is something a little different. It's a Japanese anime poster. It's unused. It's 31 inches by 43. And the name of the is it's Shonen Jump or Death Note. It starts at $2 and it ships for five. Okay, and it's starting for how much? Two dollars. And do you do we have a way of seeing it or no? Um, you do. It oh, and Dawn said, "Can you ship her jewelry in her purse?" Dawn. Oh, is it going? Is the jewelry going to Dawn? Oh, I mean, to uh, to uh, Carol. Carol. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Carol. Absolutely, she would like jewelry in the in the purse. Yeah, she bought the purse too. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, um, yeah, we'll talk. She has my email and we'll go from there. Okay. Whatever works best for her. Absolutely. And Liz's email is right there. So and Ace I'm, went three. Um, oh, so it's never been opened or taken out of the package. No, it hasn't. And it has the tabs. So it's still sealed. Yes. Okay. Now, does it have a picture of it on the, normally they would have a picture this is opened right here, so to say it's sealed, but it, you know, I don't see bugs or dust or. Is there a picture there. of it, like right there? Okay, that's what right it would there. look like, guys. Um, I can't type out the name because I don't know how to spell it. April, yeah. can, you type, can you type out the name? I can spell it for you. Um, it's S H O N E N. S H O. N E N. And then the word jump after it. S-H-O-N-E-N, -E jump. Correct. And then the next word is death note. Death note. And it's made, um, doo -doo -doo, our trademarks of Shuyasha Inc. Shuyasha Inc. I'm not even going to attempt to type that out. So we had a bid of three dollars from Ace. Thank you, Ace. Anybody want to go higher than three dollars? Glad to see someone. My daughter um, really loves Japanese anime. Um, yeah, I figured somebody'd get a. Mar Marie uh, Perlet says it's an anime cartoon. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, so we have uh, Ace at three dollars going. Oof. Once, Marie Perlet. I'm sorry, Dawn. I will make sure I pronounce it correct next time. We have Ace at we have Turtle Trader at four dollars. Turtle Trader at four dollars going once. Yes, Barb. We will show Dawn what you bought her. No need to <laughs> yell. Okay. How about we show her toward the end, okay? So we can get this moving along. We have Ace at $5. Ace at $5 going once. We have Ace at $5 going once. No need to watch the replay, Don. We'll show it at the end. We have Ace at $5 going twice. Ooh. And this is still in its plastic, except for the ink cap, but that would keep it nice and tight and make it easy to ship guys yeah. wicked ltd i don't know who you are i'm assuming you're okay i don't think we met but uh we'll go ahead and take the bid for six dollars anybody want to go higher than six hey patricia peaches nice to see you here we have uh wicked ltd Okay, now we have Ace at seven dollars. No, that's okay, Barb. I just didn't know if you knew your cap locks was on, like it's still on. Uh, we got Ace at seven dollars going once. All right, we've got Ace at seven dollars. Anybody want to go higher? 
I miss Go my on. calling, Mike. Be like Vanna White, you know? Vanna White, yeah. Uh, that is an anime poster. Yes. Um, Peaches, we just didn't take it out of the thing. The top's just torn, but there's the picture. Right. And uh, it's clean. We've got Ace at seven dollars. No problem, Don. Fair warning, guys. Last call on this anime poster. Sold to Ace for seven dollars. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, Ace. All right. Okay. We're moving right along now that we have all the technical difficulties out of the way. Okay. Next up is a 1999 Pokemon Thermos. Oh, Pokemon Thermos. Do we have any Pokemon people in here? Um, we're good. It ships for three. And it starts. For three, it ships for three, three dollars, right? Three dollars. And. It um, has initials SMG on it. Oh, that can come off easily with a, yeah. uh, a dry, dry yeah. er erase marker. But who, whomever had this, I mean, it. I'm pretty funny about stuff like that. I mean, if. And that's a thermos brand? It is a thermos brand. And what's the starting price? A dollar. Five dollars on the 1999 Pokemon. One dollar. One dollar. Oh, one dollar. Yeah, one dollar. Oh, let me correct that, guys. Here's the new start. One dollar on a on a Pokemon, 1999. We got uh, Patricia uh, Patsy Crafts at one dollar. Uh, can you? Yep, I see you. Yeah. Can you turn it a little bit the other way so we can see the other side of the blue? I mean, sure. you know, the thermos. There's the thermos label. Okay, we've got Wicked Limited at two dollars. Okay, and can we see the uh, the guy on the front? Yeah, Don. I think. I don't know who he there is. There you go, right there. Get more of him. There you go. So we have Patsy Crafty at three. Anybody want to go higher than three? Nineteen ninety nine. That's vintage, guys. Pokemon, three dollars, and it's going to ship for three. Three dollars. Anyone yep. want to go higher than three dollars? We got Patsy Crapsy at three dollars going once. And I think Don's right. The magic eraser may take it off. Um, guys, the marks, or you could try ninety that ninety percent rubbing alcohol might do it without damaging uh, the plastic. Okay, we have Patsy Crapsy at three dollars. Going twice. Oh, I left the going out of there or the twice. There we go. Going twice. Anybody else? It's going to be fair warning. Last call. 1999. Pokemon Thermos brand Thermos. Going to Patsy Craftsy. $3. Sold. Sold to Patsy Craftsy. Patricia. Thank you. For three dollars. Thank you, Patricia and uh, Wicked LT for T D for your bids. Uh A says uh, it's rock monster, not Pikachu. Also rubbing alcohol for marker. Thank you for that. Ooh. So that'd be nice to you. And that would I'm probably assuming that would be the ninety percent less water, so and it'll evaporate faster too. Thank you guys for your bids and thank you Ace for that information. We appreciate that. So what's next? We have a Dimensions cross stitch counted. It's a 2006. All right. Is that the whole thing in the uh, in the screen there? There we go. Holiday Village. Holiday Village. Let me go up a little higher. And the start price. You know, what do you? I, I'm trying to remember. I I don't do cross cross stitch. You don't. Let me a dollar. Go, it's gonna how much? A dollar. A dollar. A, a, a dollar. One, one dollar. Okay. One dollar. And just to let people know, 
it was opened and I counted all of the um, thread. It is there and the needle is there, the instructions and um, the fabric. And the fabric size is 20 by 16. And the finish size they may not give. All right. So let's see that. So everything's there to do it. Just the package was torn. Correct. Well, Turtle Trader says he don't want it for a buck. He wants it for five. I oh. think he wants to block everybody out. Oh, Turtle that Trader has dimensions. He, he knows. <laughs> that's some nice looking. That's going to make a nice picture. So we have Turtle Trader $5 on this cross stitch. All there ready to be stitched up. Anybody want to go higher than five? We have Turtle Trader. Five dollars going once. We have Ace at six. We have Ace at six dollars. Anybody want to go higher than six dollars on this uh, dimensions style or gold collection? Gold yes. collection. The name of the picture. Dia's yes. yelling. The name of the picture. Holiday Village, and it's Holiday it's, Village. Correct, and it's Total. 16 16 inches by twelve inches, and. Uh, it has a designer, uh, Nikki right. Nikki Boem. All right, we have Turtle Trader at seven dollars going once. And there is an original price tag of thirty-five. Wow, in that's the a deal. Yeah, two thousand and six. Two thousand and six. Turtle mm -hmm. Trader at seven dollars going twice. Anybody want to go higher than seven dollars? A turtle trader at seven dollars. I'm gonna do fair warning. Last call, guys. Yeah, my sky watch two is right. That will sell. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Sold. Sold the turtle trader. So for seven dollars. Thanks, Mr. Turtle. Thank you, TT, and thank you, Ace, for your bids. Thank you, Ace. What uh, Adam's got a joke here. What did the hammer say after his interview? Nailed it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, Adam, I'm gonna allow you one more joke, bro. Make it a good one. <laughs> All right, what's next? Well, our final piece is oh, the last piece. The last piece. Oh, over oh my God, guys! It's a jewelry, a jewelry yeah, jar. Jewelry jar. Now, oh, it wants to sink on me. Here, I'm gonna bring her down. I handpicked everything in here. No junk. Oh, wow. Lots of earrings. Silver. And it ships without the jar, right? Yes. If if I. You, you know you want me to make another mixed media piece. <laughs> so All right. I need another mixed media piece. But um, it has a lot of vintage in it. There's some Monet. Ooh, what's the start price first? Let me grab my... Start at five. Oh, five bucks, guys, to start. There's a little... I forget what they call that little guy. He's He has some... I'll go slow. I really yeah, go slow because I saw I saw Da Vinci earrings in there. Whoa! No, no, don't spill any of it out. We want to keep it a secret. Oh, West Germany earrings. All right. Well, now let me. I'm just going to call this. Hold on. It's okay. moving fast. Where's the highest bid? We have Bougie Bear at twenty five. Hematite. Silver. So there's hematite, silver. Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye. Nana, you're going to need to refresh your, uh, we have bargain shopping at 28. Go a little slower, spin a little slower. Sorry. No problem. We have Cindy Loves Jewelry at 30. And what's the shipping going to be on the jewelry? Uh, seven, because we'll go the priority. Priority. Okay, so it's going to go seven, guys. You're not getting the jar. We had Cindy Loves Jewelry at 30. We got bargain shopping at 35. Sorry, Nana. You're getting there. So Another we have... There are a couple of stretchies, but they're good stretchies. There, there's a piece that, like, I bought this from Casey, and it's a stretchy, 
and I love it. I don't can't know if you see can it. see it. You got to get it in the camera. I love the spray. I don't know if he's here, but I love the stretchy. So there's a couple of stretchies that are just, hey, I want to put put it on and not worry if I lose it. And but yeah. What's that? What's that one that fell down there that's out? The silver one down there. At the uh, it's a hinge. Silver tone hinge. A lot of, I would say 80% of the pieces in here do not stick to a magnet. Now take that for what it's worth. Um, this is a pewter bracelet. Okay, don't, no, you don't. Don't, don't pull them. stuff out. It's a no. You can tell them there's pewter in there. Look, yeah. guys, there's pewter. There's uh, she said Monet's in there. I can see Da Vinci. There's uh, nine, eighty percent or ninety percent of the stuff she says that she touched didn't touch with a magnet. No, there's we other. have uh, Cindy loves jewelry at thirty eight. Bargain shopping at forty. Yeah, that's the jewelry. See, the jewelry jar is the surprise. Oh, you're, you're not supposed to fondle yes. the jewelry. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all good, but yeah, what? we want them to be surprised. surprised. So we have bargain shopping at forty dollars. Anybody want to go higher than forty? And there's a the silver's in the bottom. So it does have silver, huh? Yes, it does. There's a couple mark of nine, silver in mark there. Mark nine two five. Oh. Okay, cool. So we have Carol at forty dollars going once. Yeah, right. Cindy loves jewelry. She's laughing, laughing. No, fondle the jewelry. That's right. <laughs> fondle the outside of the jar, as Skywatch is saying. Uh, is it finishing? No. Um, this is the last item, guys. From what she said, this is the last item. So we have Carol at $40. We had her going once. We're going to do Carol. If you guys want, this is it, man. This is your last chance. And Carol bought up some really cool pieces in the other one. So we've got this at Carol at forty dollars going twice. She's trying to give you guys a closer look. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this is well. well I put uh, some pieces in here that um, you know that I there is a piece of amethyst. There's some gemstones. All right. Bottom. Uh, all right. We've got Carol at forty dollars. Anybody want to go higher than forty? We need to see the jar. You need to put your can. There you go. And are you wearing a bracelet that belongs in the jar? No, I bought this from Casey when Casey. Oh, had I thought you said that. Okay, so that I thought that was in there, no. guys. It doesn't go in there. No, okay. sorry, that's mine. Okay, that was me asking that. <laughs> okay. Selena says if anybody wants to sell her the piece. Yeah, the pea pod, the pea pod thing. When you get it, she's open for it. So whoever wins it, Selena, I would say you would probably want to contact them. Yeah, Skywatch is saying great jar, better than Goodwill for sure. Ooh, Skywatch, yeah, appreciate that. And those Da Vinci earrings, those are blue. Uh, can you rotate the jar so we can see those Da Vinci earrings real quick? There you go. Oh, those are pretty nice. All right, so we've got Carol at forty dollars. Anybody want to go higher than 40? Because I already did the going twice. It's a great deal on this jewelry jar. Last yeah. item, guys. Peace. Fair warning. Last call. You don't want, to, don't want to miss out. This is the last item of the night. I'm going to let Carol walk away with all the good. Ah, oh, my sky watch in at $41. <laughs> Carol comes back with 42. They're playing the rolling $1 dance. Okay. I'm so pr I'm so proud of them. All right, we have Carol at forty two dollars. Going once. Well, before I could even type it, we're gonna go my sky watch at forty three. Going uh Carol Park shopping at forty five. They're not giving me a chance here. We got Carol at forty five. There you go. Forty five. Yeah, Cindy loves jewelry. That's right. I've taught you guys well. That $1 dance always works. So we have Carol at 45 going once. Anybody want to go 50? Anybody want to go 50? Well, she's even showing you the bottom, guys. See, I would have never showed you the bottom. So, you know, Liz works outside the box. She broke the mold when it comes to showing well, jewelry jars. The 
the ring I'm wearing actually goes in there too because I put it on to show everyone, you know. Oh, that's the, that ring goes in there? Yeah, because it's not, I like it, but it's it's not my style. All right, so well, there's a ring in there now, guys. That, uh, yeah, that's going so in. So, anybody want to give me $50? We've got bargain shopping at uh, $45, going twice. Last jar or jewelry, as Tanya would say, jar. We have Josie in at 46. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Josie. I almost hit sold. Josie snuck right in, guys. Josie at $46. Then we have Cindy Loves Jewelry at 48. Anybody, come on, guys. Anybody want to give me 50? Now, what is that you put on the top? Is that a bracelet too or a lid? It, um, it's a Lucite bracelet with some major sparkle and oh that's cool matching i matched them up they didn't come together but there is a another pair in there that would go with this all right cool i didn't yeah. i thought that was a lid or something so we have josie in at fifty dollars oh yeah now see those uh those um da vinci earrings look lighter blue pretty cool so we have uh josie granny josie at fifty dollars going once my sky watch says i am out of moolah or it would be mine oh, thank oh you. well Bye. yep that's cool though cindy loves jewelry at 52. Co we have cindy loves jewelry at 52 dollars anybody want to go higher than 52 dollars we have cindy loves jewelry at 52 going once last jar of the night that's some really nice looking stuff in there mm -hmm. that is a nice yeah, jar I'm Thanks, Mike. I'm proud of it to, you know, to send it out. It's we have uh, Granny Josie at 53. Anybody want to give me 55? Uh, anybody want to go 55? We've got Granny Josie at 53 going once. Yeah, Creative Lori, it is a great deal. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, I don't know if uh, uh, Lori's still doing them. I haven't been over there lately because I've been busy with other things. But on her Saturday show, I think she does a show where she does do jewelry sales. She does gems, loose yeah. gems, and some rings. So you guys get on over there. I think it's one central that comes on on my time. So um, if Lori can confirm that, we need to go over there and support Lori. And I want to let you know, Lori, I got my purchases from the last MSP auction. Totally pleased with it. Beautiful stuff. Totally happy. All right. We have Josie at $53 going twice. Last item of the night, guys. Last jury. And it's in a jar. It's all been handpicked. Good stuff. There's silver down in there. Granny Josie at 53 Lori. Crap. Creative Lori. That's, um, the, she does jury. And crafting and stuff yeah she's very pleasant to listen to isn't she yeah she's got a wonderful voice yeah. she's got uh she's the one that has the cat that needs a surgery all right this is it last call fair warning we got uh, josie at 53 dollars she's gonna walk away with it yep. sold to granny josie yep. for 53 dollars Thank you so much, Granny Josie. I know you're going to love it. And thank you to everyone that will bring it up a little. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I want to thank everybody for supporting Liz yes. and supporting each other. It's important that we do that. And uh, especially her son, who's a Marine now. Very uh, proud of him for serving this country. That we are. And, and remember, it's just not him, guys. Uh, let me let me get on in here too, so I can. Yeah, guys, it's uh, it's not just him, it's not just him that he that's serving. His family serves with him: mom, dad, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles. So you know, when you support when you support the veteran, the troop, you support the family also. Because Angie, my little, so get this, will tell you, she's a GI brat. She grew up on base, and she served just right along with daddy. So did her brother. So did their mama. So that's how it works. So I'm glad that we could support Liz in her efforts to help 
yes, her and, daughter get there to that thing. Yes. Yep. That's uh, where it's headed. To, so Maddie can come and join us. And, uh, uh, don't worry. Be before Immortal uh, blows my eardrums out with her yelling, can you please show Dawn the dog? Yes. Might take a second to find. I had something popped up on my screen, so I don't know if it's in view. Oh, look at that, honey. There you go. Hold on, let me lock on you. Are you seeing that, Dawn? Very kitschy. Dawn. Dawn, that's uh, for you. That's a wall hanger. Barb got that for you. And it's made in Japan. Yep. Come down a little bit and back. And it's a dog. Very nice. Good. Uh, Peaches, how many years? Um, I took early retirement when they offered it. I did 18 years, eight months, and 20 days. So I got my, I got, uh, I lost 2% or 4% of my retirement benefit. So I ended up with 46% of my retirement. Instead of the 50, like the way it comes, you get like, it starts at 50, I only lost 4%. So I got full bennies and everything. So, yep. So anyway, is there anything else you'd like to say, Liz, before we wrap this up? Well, of course, thank you, Mike, so much for making it uh, much easier than I thought it was going to be and for your time. God bless you and God bless everyone in the room for coming out and supporting our family uh, during this time. It's uh, the jewelry community and the reselling community. Thank you so much. And to Dia and all the mods, high five. Thank you. Much appreciated that you spend the time with us. So over and out, onward and upward. Right on. And yeah. um, before I say anything, I want to tell my Skywatch too, she said my hub did 38 from Vietnam to 2011. So God bless him. Vietnam yeah. vet. We not The Vietnam vets are, you know, I think the last of the, the veterans of World War II, the, they're dying off and all we've got left is the Korean War and they're getting older and then you have the Vietnam vets. And so, you know, you guys, when you see a vet, man, just tell them thank you. You yeah. know, because... Uh, yeah, don't be shy. They, uh, they all, they all no. do it selflessly, man. They do it because of the love of their country and their family. Um, but that said, I want to thank Liz for being on here. It makes... And thank you for the uh, technical difficulties that we worked through. Thank you, Mike. The community is awesome. Everybody was cool. And I think we all had a great time. I know I did. Um, you guys remember, send your, uh, send your contact information to lit to, uh, to Liz. I think Dia put the address up there, Thank you. um, uh, once before. And it's also in the description guys, uh, under the, in the description, I have the email address contact her. Um, and for anybody that sees this afterwards on the reload, there's a couple of items that there was no real love for. So, Hey, that happens sometimes. If you want them, contact right. Liz through well, the email and you can get them. It's, it's a and learning too, wanted, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's what's, what's, yeah, it's cool. No, and then that's how it works here. You know, it's no pressure. We like to have fun. I think it was another great auction. And I want to thank everybody for coming and supporting uh, me, my channel and Liz and supporting everybody else. And with that said, I'd like to ask God to bless all of you guys with uh, happy life, happy health, great health, happy life, much prosperity whether you're a collector or a seller, let's make, uh, I'm asking God to make 2019 the best year ever that any of us have ever had. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, thumbs up, subscribe, share the video so other people can see what's going on here and maybe want to come in and, and take part in it. And with that said, I'm going to say Roland Picker out. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>